Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've got an email in here from a, um, a Norwegian. He's asking, lenses with outstanding sun stars. That's the, the title of the, uh, the email. He says, hi, I'm a Norwegian and like to do some long exposure shots, light painting work in the city, brackets, environments with street lights, etc. Older lenses with nine or seven straight aperture blades give me much better sun stars from street lights, traffic lights, etc. Newer lenses with rounded aperture blades does not give me the same desired effect. I use a Nikon D750 and I've tried the older 28 to 70 f35 to 45D with nine straight aperture blades. The sun stars are absolutely amazing, but the badly controlled flare and ghosting from the street lights makes this lens unusable for this purpose. My question, do you recommend any older or cheaper if possible lenses, brackets, primes, and zooms in the 20 to 70 range with sharp and crispy images f8 to f22 minimal ghosting and flare and seven or nine straight aperture blades for outstanding sun stars barrel distortion is easier to correct post processing sincerely uh jorand hope i'm saying that right and uh great question interesting question i haven't really played a lot with sun stars i mean you i know how to get them i know how it works i i just not something i have um just one of those things. There's always something different to play with in photography that you haven't played with up to that point, and that's one of them. Maybe I should go out and fool around with some lenses that might give me some sun stars. Um, I think what we should do, first of all, uh, before I get into my suggestions, because I did a little research for you, and I'm going to throw it back out to our viewers for their um recommendations on best lenses for sun stars but i've got some recommendations here five or six uh, but first i just want to cover for everybody that might be curious how to get sun, sun stars so maybe some people haven't really uh, looked into it or tried it and they're just curious how do i get a sun star in my image so basically there's there's four uh, points i want to some basics um, you want to put the sun against a dark edge like a horizon for instance um, and you want to have it like exactly there so that's a first tip as far as how to frame it and how to set it up so it's going to look the best. Use f22 if possible. This is where you tend to get sun stars. At the wider apertures, you're not going to see this happen as much. You'll get better ones at f22. Seems to be the general agreed upon f-stop. Use a lens with old-fashioned straight iris blade edges. That's what uh, Joran was talking about here, um, that the straight aperture blades, lenses that have straight ones instead of slightly rounded ones, they make better sun stars. So you want to check into that characteristics on any lenses you are looking at. Does it have old-fashioned straight iris blades? A lot of the newer ones don't. Cheap lenses work better than expensive lenses, usually. This could also be a factor of the fact that the cheaper lenses don't have the rounded blades as well as they're probably not as controlled for um, the glass and as expensive coatings and things like that that may prevent sun stars. So there's four basics um, on how to shoot sun stars. Now, I looked around and did some research. The Nikon MF, the manual focus, 200 millimeter AIS, I think it's an F4, um, is reputed to be a very good lens for sun stars a lot of people like it for that shot at f22 again the 80 to 200 f28 um, can be the, the older ones can be very good for that especially saw a few more than one person claiming that the twin ring uh, version of that was very good stop down again you know f22 or around there um, the sigma 17 to 70 os saw a few people saying they really liked that for sun stars the sigma 15 millimeter people were claiming was a good lens for sun stars um, the tokina 11 to 20 and the tokina 11 to 16 so some wides there at the end all being um, noted more than once as a good lens for sun stars so that's six lenses there uh, and then obviously the other thing you might want to look at is like a koken star filter um, and there's other companies that make star filters as well but you could use a star filter on pretty much any lens so those are the six that I wanted to point out from doing some little bit of research on this. As I said, I really haven't experimented myself with trying to get sun stars. Um, so that's how you shoot for them. Those are six lenses that you could try that seem to be, uh, in general, uh, more than one person anyways, you know, fairly popular online as lenses that are good for sun stars. But I want to throw it back to you guys. Um, any other tips for how to get the best sun stars? aside from the four that I've covered. 
Um, any other lenses? What are your favorite lenses? If you're somebody that likes to shoot sun stars or if you've done this and, if, you know, in the past fooled around with this, this type of photography, what lenses did you find to be the best? What's your favorite sun star lens? What would you recommend? Um, any votes for any of these six? Any other lenses you'd like to recommend? Let us know in the comments below. Let's help out Jorand. Um, and star filters. What do you think of them? Uh, I know Koken makes one. I'm, I'm sure other people do. I have. I didn't look through all the various star filters. But do you have any recommendations there? What do you think of using a star filter uh, or a, to make a sun star um, versus using a lens, an older straight bladed lens as far as what the effect is? Is it better to use a lens that's that's prone to this do you get better sun stars or is a star filter actually all you need let us know in the comments below curious to hear what you guys have to say as i said haven't really done a lot of sun star shooting um this is what i came up with looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say what your experiences are what your favorite lenses are how's the filters work let's help out joran always great to hear back from you guys usually get a wealth of good information it's like a collective answer for our viewers. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for your question, Joran. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.